Doug, just talk about helping the people of Japan tonight. We have a way that you can. You can donate to charities mobilizing to get relief to those in need. But remember, you have to watch out for those scam charities. We put together a list of reputable ones. We're learning more tonight about the money impact of the disaster, namely the cost of insuring all the losses. One study suggesting this could be the most expensive quake in recent history. Getting tomorrow, Fox Report with Shepard Smith, live from Japan. Shep will be on the ground to bring us firsthand accounts of the death. And as information and pictures continue to come into our newsroom from Japan, of course, we'll bring it all to you, as well as the other news of the day. Let's go now to the Middle East. Breaking now on the Fox report, a manhunt for a police shooter. At least one officer, we're told, is dead. Three others are injured after a man opened fire on them with a rifle. Close call for a pilot in Southern California today after his chopper slammed into a building and came... Now to the Middle East in Libya. Supporters of leader Muammar al-Qaddafi saying they've gained ground in the fight against rebel forces for key control of oil ports there. East Coast flooding causing more than headaches across several states. One of Harris, a state of emergency still in effect here in Little Falls, New Jersey. As you can see, this home behind me evacuated. And you can't tell, but underwater, those are sandbags obviously doing no good. This car abandoned in a carport. All these residents, hundreds of residents, evacuated on Thursday and Friday due to a fast-rising Paseo City in hot water. It's been a rough, rough couple days here in Little Falls, New Jersey. Harris? All right, Julie, thank you very much. So what is next for those already flooded areas? Let's get to meteorologist Marina Molina live in the Fox Extreme Weather Center for an answer, Marina. Hi, Harris. We do expect the rivers to begin to recede very slowly, though. Here is actually the Passaic River at Little Falls. This is a river gauge showing where it crested last night and slowly recedes. Wow. Frightening stuff. Maria, yeah. thank you very much. Fighting off multiple nuclear meltdowns. Japan dealing with the worst crisis. Harris Faulkner and this is the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. Time now for the top of the news. Japan fighting a threat of meltdown in several locations. Information, Peter, thank you. Well, we now know some amount of radiation has leaked from at least one of the damaged nuclear power plants in Japan. What are the potential health risks if people are contaminated? Dr. Right. I know you've been monitoring some of the agencies in Japan that have been giving the numbers uh, of people exposed or not exposed to radiation. What have you found out? This conflict useful information tonight. Thank you very much for joining. Thanks. Us. Good to see you. Coming up, we'll take a look at how the weather in Japan is impacting the spread of radiation. This is the very thing we were just talking about. Today, forecasters saying the wind at one nuclear plant leaking radiation is blowing south. But what happens if that changes and the winds start blowing towards, say, one of the big cities like Tokyo? States around the nation struggling with debt, lawmakers trying to cut spending and some programs. While in Georgia, money woes have left some people wondering why the state pays more to house inmates than to educate children. It's a gap that's growing as the prison population continues to get bigger, too. Elizabeth Pran has more on this story. Elizabeth? Hi, Harris. Well, Georgia is just one example. New York and California are also spending three four times on an inmate than they do on kids' education in the public school system. And that has many ed education advocates wondering, what are we doing with our younger generations? Take a look. And still work and contribute to society. Harris? All right, Elizabeth, good to see you. Thank you. Word Thank you. tonight of a deadly shootout at a New Orleans bar targeting a group of teenagers. One American neighborhood feeling an extremely personal connection to the victims of the disaster in Japan. Deagle, thank you very much. New developments now in the investigation of a deadly bus accident on a major interstate. The Nikkei index is down. We brought you the news of markets opening for the first time since the disaster quake and tsunami Friday in Japan. Significant risk of global contamination from this incident. Yeah. Not so the situation that you've described in Japan, a very, very tender thing to watch there with their nuclear meltdown looming. That's what the scientists keep telling us. James Carafano is security and defense analyst. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. Well, in Japan, the Nikkei 
their index, their market's falling sharply. We're watching now to see how trading is affected there and the effect on the markets here at home. Robert Gray of the Fox Business Network coming down a little more. We talked about it at the top of the hour. It opened up, you know, about 2% down, down 4%, hit five trades that did not materialize on Friday in Saudi Arabia. So you see mm -hmm. that event pass. You see demand question in uh, Japan. So that maybe is somewhat of a silver lining for Americans at the gas pump here. Yeah. So what are the early projections for the economic effects on Japan at this point? Well, it. it It's the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, finally taking a breather, we're told. Now, Americans are being advised not to travel to Japan except for humanitarian reasons. We had told you earlier.